Hey, I'm Mitch Gross from Able Cinetech. We have the Phantom 65 from Vision Research. This is my baby, I love this camera. This is a true 4K camera, 4096 by 2440. I like to show people, it's right in there. My window to the world, that's a huge sensor. That's the size of a 65 millimeter film frame, 52 millimeters across for image area. This is a giant sensor. You can't cover that with regular 35 millimeter film lenses. So we have several options for many lenses to cover that. And that's more to be revealed at NEB this year. Actually, just leave that off. Well, I show you how simple and little this camera is. It's only 12 pounds. It has this plate pops off and the Cinemag goes on here. I don't have one at the moment, but it fits underneath the handle here. It's about the size of a paperback book. Very small and simple, easy to use. We have a viewfinder that goes on here. Pops right on your shoulder. Easy to run around, handheld with. We have handheld rigs to go with it, hand grips, on off control, everything on there. You can see there's only these controls right on the camera. One knob that you can push in, make adjustments with it, then two buttons. That's all you need. Everything peers up in the viewfinder to know what you're doing. Very simple controls, very simple menu in the camera because really as a digital cinema camera you're shooting raw, raw files so you don't have to worry about things like setting all these color matrices and things that you do in other cameras that have 1200 menu options. There's something like 12 menu options in this camera. It's very simple, straightforward. On the back you have several connectors. Right here is just power. Here's Ethernet connection, which goes to a computer, so you can download files directly off the camera if you wish, or you can be sending the, you can be computer, talking to a computer, which can do all the controls for the camera remotely if you wish. You, right here, you have, uh, sorry, that's the Ethernet connection. Right here is the capture cable, which allows you to have certain connections like SMPTE time code, a, co a control of a strobe light multiple cameras linked together through a syncing command so that you can do uh, 3D or shoot effects where you have uh, multiple cameras going and have everything synchronized right to the frame. You have, uh, then you also have the trigger connection so that you can uh, actually have a remote control or even just a hand grip on off for the camera for actually triggering your shot. Things like that all through here. This is reserved for future use. This will be for a, uh, a direct connection to the camera for a remote, which will be most likely something like a CCU for a camera. Just You'll have various ways to access controls of the functions in the camera through a remote box. So think of like perhaps a paint box, that sort of thing that would plug directly into the camera. And then this is video out. That's a BNC connector. That is any flavor of HDSDI you can pretty much imagine. All flavors of high def video are selectable, again, in this, the menus in the camera so that you can then choose whatever signal you're gonna look at. Usually people are looking at a 1920 by 1080 signal of some sort, but it's any type they might want. Right here, I like to point out, is the only moving part on the camera. That's the fan. That's the only thing that moves in this camera. There's no tape mechanism, there's no memory, hard drive, anything like that. It records to RAM. Onto the Cinemag is flash memory, so you have nothing to worry about, any of that sort of connection. There's uh, three of those pounds are just heat sink. Nice. It's big copper plating there, and uh, it's just designed, it, and it's passive heat, so it's passive uh, cooling. So there's a little channel, you see how it bumps out right here? Mm -hmm. The heat, the air, is sucked by this fan, and the fan's actually blowing that way, so it just sucks air and gently back, and it's sealed, so the air, nothing, no dirt or air can get inside the camera into the works. It just gently, passively pulls the heat out.